welcome to the session on matching in graph theory let us recollect some basics a graph is denoted as g equal to ordered pair v comma e where v is the non empty set of vertices and e is the set of edges the next definition is when are two vertices said to be adjacent two vertices are said to be adjacent if there is an edge connecting them Consider the example in the graph. Are the vertices A and B adjacent? Yes, because they are connected by an edge one. Are the vertices A and D adjacent? No, they are non-adjacent vertices, as because there is no edge connecting A and D. The next definition is adjacent edges. the adjacent edges are the edges that share a common vertex what about the edges 1 and 2 are they adjacent yes because they both incident at a common vertex a if the if we consider the edges 1 and 3 then they are not incident at any common vertex so they are non adjacent this term is very important in the definition of matching what is a matching a subset m of e is called a matching in g if no two of the edges in m are adjacent let us get clear with that what is g g is a graph what is e E is the set of edges in a graph. Now, the subset M of E is said to be matching if it contains non-adjacent edges. That is, if we consider any two edges of M, then it should be non-adjacent. consider the example we have established two kinds of matchings the first matching m n s a b c d e f what about the second one b c and e f the next definition is when is a v a vertex said to be m saturated a vertex a matching m saturates a vertex v if one edge of m is incident with v now consider the matching m1 ab cd ef so the edge ab saturates the vertex a and b that is the n vertices okay if we consider the edge a b the n vertices are a and b similarly c d c and d e f e and f so a vertex v is said to be m saturated if it is an n vertex of an edge in yeah okay the next definition is perfect matching when is a matching said to be perfect if all the vertices of g are m saturated then m is called as a perfect matching now among the two matchings that we have done which graph which matching is said to be perfect matching m1 is said to be perfect matching because that matching contains all the vertices a b c d and e f the next definition is a matching m is called a maximal matching to which no edge in the graph can be added
okay let us consider the first figure it is maximal how can we add any edge to the matching now consider the edges which are not in matching bd can we add bd to the matching no because ab and bd are adjacent the condition is it should be non adjacent so in the same way if i consider in all the edges which are not in the matching it is not possible for me to add any one of the edge then such an edge such a matching is called as a maximal matching next definition is maximum matching when is a matching said to be maximum it is based on the number of edges that is if we don't find any matching m dash such that the cardinality of m dash is greater than cardinality of m which means the matching which we have found has the maximum number of edges then it is said to be maximum matching and the number of edges in the maximum matching is called as a matching number of g the next definition is m alternating path an m alternating path in g is a path whose edges are alternately in e minus m and m let us get it clear with an example consider the example that is second figure in which the path we have mentioned is a b b c c e e f let us clarify a b b c c e e f a b a b is not in a matching that is it is in e minus m b c it is in m c e it is in e minus m then e f it is in m so a b b c c e e f they are the path is in such a way that the edges are in e minus m and m the next definition is m augmenting path let m be matching in g and m augmenting path is an m alternating path whose origin and terminus are m unsaturated now in the same figure second one consider the path ab bc cd ab is in e minus m bc is in m and cd is in e minus m so the origin is a and the terminus is d origin is a a b b c c d origin is a and uh, terminus is d both are m unsaturated so note in m augmenting path initial and final edges are in e minus m the second point is m an m alternating path whose initial and final edges are in e minus m in all such cases they need not be an m augmenting path let us see some of the applications of matching matching has applications in flow networks scheduling and planning modeling bonds in chemistry graph coloring the stable marriage problem neural networks in artificial intelligence and more this is an of the application of system of distinct representatives in matching where we have a set of boys who has several girlfriends 
and of what conditions can we find a perfect matching this is one of the application and we call it as a marriage problem